Hello everybody and a very warm welcome to Crafters TV. My name's Ben Mosby, thanks for joining us. Here we are, um, final show of Monday, the day's flown over, hasn't it? Hopefully you've had a good day with us. Uh, if you've joined us on all of the shows, you will have seen, well, hopefully lots of inspiration, lots of education, lots of laughter, lots of singing as well today. And, th uh, yeah, and thankfully today, not by us. We had the wonderful Annika Stern in earlier on, um, who is an opera singer. And she was fantastic. We were, um, oh, by the way, I thought this because um, I shared the video of me and Annika a little bit earlier on on my socials, which you can now see. If you like to want to follow her, she's on Instagram, at Annika Stern Music. That's right, isn't it? Off the top of my head. A-N-M-E-K-E-S-T-E-R-N Music. Um, so yes, yeah, so give her a little follow. If you didn't sh see the show earlier on, do go back and watch Wake Up Call. It was a lot of fun. Uh, she was in singing and crafting. And then, of course, you can go back and watch Craft Vault from earlier on as well uh, with me and Craig, where we were, well, having a bit of a laugh, really. And we plan to do more of the same in this show, if I'm being honest with you. Monday Makers, uh, last show of the day. It's been a fun day. We're, we're back together tomorrow as well for two shows. So we're, we're full of the joys of winter. Um, so we're going to have a bit of a laugh. We're going to hopefully bring you loads of inspiration, loads of fun demos. Hopefully you guys are going to get interactive with us as well. Say hello, ask some questions, uh, and generally just make it a really fun show. We have got Nicola and James in the gallery steering the good ship craft. You've got a woohoo, and you, from James you've got a oh, hello. He's lost his voice. Um, so he's, uh, he's speaking like this today. It's quite hard to hear him. Um, so if I look at the wrong camera at any point, uh, it's all James's fault. He's lost his voice. So, um, we've also got on the, oh, sorry. Oh, oh sorry, I can't hear what you're saying. Uh, <laughs> we've got uh, lovely Hayley on the socials and providing all of the inspiration and indeed lots of the fun. The other side of the studio, my crafty bestie, crafty partner in crime. I don't know why I'm doing that. Aircraft, my crafty partner in crime, the one and only <laughs> Craig Bagel. How are you, Craig? I'm good, but you missed someone. Oh, and also, Oh, well, I, I was doing it, and all, now, the reason why I did it, the reason why I did it is because I thought you would like to um, introduce her. I could do. No, I think you definitely should. Yeah, you, you should. Because you, you're, you guys are quite close, this person I haven't introduced, and I, you've got like the little nickname for her as well, so I think you should, you should do it. I could do it, although to be fair, I'm pretty close to coming live on Monday Makers with a bleeding nose and a black eye. Yeah. Within that hour break. It is, of course, my little chicken nug nug is just out there. <laughs> Tracy is here, giving us a helping hand as well. But yeah, so the next couple of hours, we're going to do lots of crafting. We're going to do lots of techniques. I'm not necessarily going to do full demos. It's about techniques that we're going to cover when it comes to some of the collection. Now, we've got our collage floral stamp and dies. These give you the stencil as well, stencil slash template for you to then ink and spritz all the way around. Ooh. Now we've got just a couple of florals there. You've got the sunflower and you've got the rose. We've got more within that collection. We've then got the Kingfisher collection, which is absolutely exquisite. Not only have you got exquisite imagery, but the colours, the designs, just absolutely mm -hmm. beautiful that you can see here. We're also then going to have a look at our duet ink pads. Now, the duet ink pads are actually what I'm going to be using in the first demo. The focus isn't necessarily going to be the duet ink pads, although I am using them. The focus is going to be our corner and border die. So we're going to have a look at these. And for those that um, maybe didn't see Hobby Maker on New Year's Eve, that said card that I went over with Mr. Dave Bradford is the one that we're going to replicate. That card? The flicking of the hand, yeah. I saw that video. You've seen that video. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do uh, in, well, the first demo. So that's using the scattered border and corner dies plus the duet ink pads. Look forward to that. I'll show you all of the um, scattered corner and border dies in just a second. Those do it, 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 do it. The duet ink pads are actually one of our Monday mega deals for you. We've got one, two, three. We've got five actually. Well, we had five, but we've only got four because one sold out. Um, uh, really? Oh. Oh, sorry. We had four. One sold out, so there's three. So um, the large folder, stamp and die storage folder, that's a Monday Mega Deal. We'll come into that later on. Um, we've got a brilliant deal on our luxury card stock as well as a Monday Mega Deal. 24 hour only deals. And the duet ink pads, um, which I can show you in just a bit. 
Um, I haven't, they're over there. Or are they down there? I can't remember where they are. Where are they? Oh, well, shut. <sighs> You've thrown me a curveball here because we were going to. Oh, here, they're here. The, the Monday Meg, one of the Monday Mega Deals is the Duet Ink Pads um, 12 piece collection where I'm looking forward to actually showing you these because I've got the little technique booklet here. Um, no, I am, because I know Craig's going to use this in the first demo, but um, I get to flick through the little booklet and uh, you get to see why these are so super versatile. All of these fab colours you're going to get. What a price, by the way, for 24 hours only. £40 or $60 if you're a Platinum member. You're going to get all of these fantastic colours. Um, shaped like this because that's how the ink pad is shaped. Makes it nice and easy for you to hold. Um, and you've got all of these fantastic colours across your rosy apple. You've got your sweet clementine. Uh -huh. Sunshine Glow, Lemon Meringue, Spring Buds, Awakening Forest, Sailor's Wake and Waterfall, Midnight Mist, Soft Heather, Vintage Merlot and your Raspberry Ripple. And if I just show you here, and I won't pretend like I did last time that um, I'm not reading the notes uh, off the back of here, but this little swatch shows you all of the different ways um, that you can um, use these. We'll say all of them, a bit of a snapshot of the different ways. So this one here, um, just applying your ink with the blending tool and blending two colours together. Uh, this one here, uh, spritzing or flicking your water over the um, ink blended background and then heat and dry. Um, that's what you were doing with uh, Dave, wasn't it, over on Hobby Maker? Um, this one, taking your ink directly into the card. So taking your ink pad across the surface, drying it, uh, applying a different colour, layering and drying in between. I remember when we launched these, that was one of the big things, like how many times you can layer up all of the um, different colours with these, as long as you're doing your uh, drying in between each and every layer. Uh, this one here, again, slightly different. Uh, this one with a, a baby white blend, so applying the ink to the card from the pad. So again, these are shaped in such a way that makes it really nice and easy for you to take them straight into your cardstock if you want. You know, if you want to use your daubers, you can, but they'll go beautifully straight from the pad onto your cardstock. Um, blend out over the card using a baby wipe, dry, and then spritz again with water, and then you're drying. I mean, there's so many here. This one again is using baby wipes with the, uh, the pouncing technique to create that really, really cool effect. Uh, this one here, applying colour to cardstock using a brayer. I mean, there's so many different things that you can do. I won't show you these all because I'll probably be here the, old sh uh, the whole show. Um, craft mat smoosh, this one. So laying the colour down onto your craft mat. Um, or indeed, you can pop it onto your, um, your glass mat if you want. Um, choosing your colour, spritz it with water and then lay the cardstock on top to pick up the wet colour. Yes, thank you, Nicola. Like this morning, um, Annika was doing with um, Lily. Go back and watch that show. She created a wonderful background. Annika, who'd not really done a lot of crafting before, created a wonderful card. Um, using that exact technique and this one again there's loads more to show you perhaps i'll show you some more after the demo with craig but this one a, um, a watercolor washer just laying the color again down onto uh, your glass mac and then picking up the color with a wet brush um, and wash over the background drying it and then again using that flicking technique getting it on your fingers or indeed using like um one of your little sprayers your spritzes spraying water at the top drying again lots of different things that you can do we'll have a look as i say at some more of those in just a little while but all those colors you're going to be getting in the set I do believe they are still available for you individually as well if you don't want to go for the full collection, but that's your best value for money right there. The Scattered Corners and Borders collection, which Craig is also going to be using in this first demo, again, best value for money in the bundle, all of these you're going to get. And what I love about these is that these can be little accents on your projects. You can build these up to create like bigger frames. If you want to cut like four of the corners um, and piece these around your project, you can. Love the demo that we saw on Wake Up Call early this morning as well with uh, Lily and Annika, where she was uh, multi-cutting these in different colours of cardstock and creating a beautiful drop shadow effect lots of different things you can do and lots of different uh, designs that you've got with these so each one you get that kind of uh, straight scattered bordered uh, border die and then you get your beautiful edger as, uh, edgeable as well so not your edgeable your corner as well so you've got your love hearts you are also going to be uh, receiving the beautiful floral meadow which is those gorgeous flowers you've got the butterflies in here you have got the Stunning Stars, which is actually called Dazzling Stars. That was the one we saw this morning on Wake Up Call. You've got your beautiful dragonflies. And then lastly in this set is the Boho Dream. So it's that sort of dream catcher effect with the, uh, the moon and the stars. £40 or $52 is your platinum price on that bundle. All 12 guys you're going to get. As I say, if you want to go individually on those, you can. Um, a few quick hellos and then we'll get on into this. Uh, aloha to Corinne, who joined 
joining us. He says, good morning, everyone. Uh, lovely to have you with us, Corinne. Um, back in Hawaii now, I think, aren't you? I think, let me know. Uh, hi to Crafty Stacey, uh, Crafty Stacey Lou, who says, good evening, guys. Good evening. Hi also to Rhonda, who says, good afternoon, everyone. Hi, Melanie D, who says, hello, all. Hello. Hi, Betty Weaver from Idaho. Hi. Hi, Katie Hall from a sunny but cold Arizona. Hello. Uh, Diane Cadman says, good evening. Good evening. Uh, Trish Lestelle says, hello again. Ben, Craig, TV team and all the crafters. Hello to you too. Uh, <laughs> Tim C says, hi, everyone. How is all? Just in process of doing birthday card. I'm all good, well. Y'all. Uh, Sarah Muir says, good evening, Ben and Craig and crafty friends. Good evening. Hello, everyone, says Kathy Lee. Happy Monday. Hello, happy Monday to you too. Tim C says, got the ultimate pro the other day from the Chesterfield branch, and it is a game changer. It is indeed. Um, and Tim C, first question of the show, says, I've got um, a lot of the water active ink. So these are the, the duet ink pads, of course, but he's, he's basically saying he struggles to blend with them. Um, any advice would be grateful. Are you going to be blending with the um, duet ink pads over the course of the show? Uh, we're blending with the water reactive. Mm. Could always maybe do five minutes or so just shortly. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Let's say because these are obviously different to the ones that you've been um, you can working obviously with. You, yeah, blend you can. with them, but yeah. I'm not going to blend with the duet. No. I'm just going to pounce. We could do. I'm just going to pounce. Pounce. Gordon Ramsay would say. Uh, talking of pouncing, feel free to still send in pictures of your cats over the course of this show as well. We've loved the cat gallery because cats, they do their. Don't they? That's like Tracy every morning when she comes in, she's ready to pounce. Yeah, that little chicken nug nug. Yeah, my little chicken nug nug. <laughs> right! Scattered corner, uh, boys. So you're going to use those and the duetic pads in this demo, correct? I am indeed. We're going to use Midnight Mist and Waterfall. So let's Ooh. have a look at the actual die sets here. So these ones are, some of them are going to be using water-based ink pads, duet ink pads, maybe water reactive. But the samples that I'm showing you are more just focused on the actual border and corner scatter dies. What you can then do is use your gilding flakes with your double-sided adhesive sheets. You've then got all the different concepts. Oh, wow. so go back to the card shapes, just a smidge of the amount of card shapes I showed you last week within the scoring New Year, New Craft. Start to do the card blanks and then use the scattered border and corner dies with your card blanks. You can see you've got all your different styles. You can start to paper piece with them as well. I love how you've got that complementary corner to that border mm. or complementary border to the corner, yeah. whichever way that you think about it. You can then, of course, colour them in with different Indeed. mediums. You can use the corners more than once. What about that one? I don't know why. I just want to say Lily's card. Mm. This, is, this is making me feel there's no name on the back. Oh, this because is... I saw it being made. Who made it? There's no name on it. Oh, Corin, is it a Corin card. Mm. Uh, yes, yeah, so um, you can use just the borders on their own. And then the love hearts. <laughs> Let's come out. Just pop them back into place. What about doing a background in a backdrop? So maybe you've seen Sheena with the floral collage stamps that we've got within Monday Makers. Yeah. Starting to build it up, but you can see instead of using the floral stamps, why not use the border and corner dies within that one there? Yeah. Or you know, different size of cards. Mm. I mean, that one there, Bianca's done here, beautiful card. Just using them with the orange, orangey yellows with a little bit of black. Looks really nice. So, that being said, uh -huh. let's bring in my watercolour cardstock. So I've got my watercolour cardstock, I've cut that to five and a half by five and a half, and then I've got my Midnight Mist, and I've got my Waterfall. Now for this one, you can use the blending tools. I'm going to use something that I've not actually really used a lot, Ooh, and that's a little egg blending mm. shapes. And the reason being, or the reason I thought I'll just use these, is because I'm really only wanting to pounce, so for this, what I'm doing here, we don't have to worry about having a really, really good blend. It's more about just getting the, the colour on our cardstock, because we're going to do a bit of faux bleaching in a moment with our water. But I just want to get the colour on. So I'm just going to start off with the waterfall. Yeah. So this is that lighter blue. So I'm just going to 
pounce on with the actual waterfall ink and then every now and again I'm just going to do a little bit of a blend in yeah but we're just going around and I'm not too concerned about getting right to the edges Ben so if I've got some white cardstock round the outer edge which I'm going to have then I'm more than happy about that because I just want to kind of have that rustic feel to it and, and as, as we sort of half demonstrated with the um the look through that swatch there these are probably one of the most versatile ink pads you're ever, ever going to use aren't they yes because you know they've got that duo that duo and name you know that that mix between a pigment and your what reactive so to speak so you've got that best of both worlds yeah. if you are want to layer and blend or blend and then layer you mm. can do if you want to use them with your powders you can absolutely do that but definitely as you were saying before if you're going to layer your color you're going to do any layering technique do your first layer, let it dry, set it, then go over the top. Yeah. So if you're you if you say you're doing this, then going over with a stencil, let it dry, go in with an additional layer. But yeah, very, 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 very versatile. I know these are Debbie Robinson's absolute love. She loves these ones. Good for beginners as well, if we've got any newbies joining us. Yeah, yeah. And I know sometimes when we say, oh, good for beginners, we usually tend to say straight away, oh, yeah, great for beginners. Really, really are, because you've got that versatility. They are that duet. You've got that flexibility. They're very, very forgiving as well. Certainly when you come along with techniques like these, whereas now what I'm going to do is I'm now just going to go in with the midnight. Yeah. So I'm just going to go round the outer edge. I'm not necessarily going to go all the way on the inner edge because I do want to keep that waterfall blue kind of in the centre. But just dab in. And you can do this with the square or even the rectangle blending tool, Ben. It's just these caught my eye to the corner and I thought, oh, I've never actually properly sat down and used them a lot. So I thought, let's just go in and then pounce these on. You can see here, I've still got some of the kind of, kind of rounded marks, yeah. which I'm not bothered about. Did, did you say Debbie likes these, isn't she? De the, Debbie, Debbie Robinson, Robinson the, likes the, the blending yeah. eggs. Yeah. yeah, she absolutely adores them. What I would say is, after this show, or when you've got a chance, go back and have a look at previous shows that Debbie Robinson's done with these ones here, because when she, whenever she gets the opportunity to use them and features them on her shows, mm. she does. She does incredible things with them. But that's that's all that I'm going to do. And this, for me, I, I always say I love the water reactive. The water reactives are my favourite. They're always my go-to. And when I do what I'm away to do now, so spritz with water, that full bleaching effect, as you lift that colour up with the water, what can happen is you still get a light tinge of colour to the background. So as it lifts up, you would still get a little bit of that tinge of blue on the mm. back. What happens is it pretty much just strips. So it's as if you are actually using real bleach. That's the best way to affect it. It strips that colour and the cardstock left is pure white. So that's, what, that's that look that you get when it comes to the duet. Now, what caused all the hilarity last week when it comes to these on Hobby Maker with, with Dave is if you've got your water spritzer, you know, if you go further away, you're going to get a fine mist. If yeah. you go close up, you're going to get more of a puddled m mist. But I like to go in on my hand and then I flick because you get more of an open, scattered and bigger droplets, sort I of guess, feel. Bigger droplets for mm. sure. So I'm just going to go What's in. What's so funny about that? I don't. I don't find it funny. No, I don't find it what funny. Dave, what did Dave find funny about that, I wonder? I think it was more the way I was doing it. Was it? You weren't so. messing about, were you, Craig? Me? Never. No? Never. Not on your Nelly. No, you wouldn't Not mess about on, on another channel, would you? We only mess about here, don't I we? I leave all my messing about for you. Yeah, I thought so. I do indeed. Don't you be messing about with other people over on that other channel. No, I wouldn't do that. No. I wouldn't do that. No. I love the guys at Hobby Maker, but I wouldn't cheat. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a traitor. I'm not a traitor. <laughs> well, anyway, talk about traitors. Talk about traitors. <laughs> this time in 48 hours, it'll only be one hour, 40 minutes away for the next show. Nice. Mm -hmm. Can't wait, can't wait. Now, you'll be able to see at the moment, what's starting to have, it's like a little bit of a marble effect. It's lifting, starting to pull away at that colour. So what I'm going to do, the longer you leave it, like water reactive, the more colour it's going to pull. But are you ready to have your socks blown off? Come on then. So let's dab all this excess off. No peeking. Ooh, it's so good. <laughs> Was it really good? Come on. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> 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 
Whoa. Look at that. Look at that. So that has pretty much stripped right yeah. back, no pun intended, to the base of that cardstock. That was watercolour cardstock that I used there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat set this because we're going to sample over the top with our sentiment and, in a moment. And if you wanted to again then, once you've heat set that, you could apply another layer of colour you if can you wanted, indeed. right? Yeah. yeah, so I would dry it, then I would go over. So what would happen, say I went over with more waterfall, you would intensify the blue layer that's already there, but then what you would do is you're going to have a lighter blue where you've gone because you're pretty much going on to white cardstock and there you're going on to blue cardstock that's already been inked. So that's why you're going to get different levels, different looks, different intensities, and different feel depending whether you go in splatter with your water, or if you come along and then you do what I done there, or go over with a stencil, anything like that. So if I come in with my heat tool, I'll probably give that just a little bit longer. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my stamping platform here. We're going to go in with the stamping platform and then I'm just going to put this into the middle. And then a couple of weeks ago, for the first, well, it was before Christmas, I'd never seen these until they were on a show. And that was when I was on your side, Ben. Yeah. And that was our mindful coat stamps. Oh, yeah. So when I seen them, I had to get them because I thought they were so lovely, mm -hmm. so thoughtful. And that one I've gone for, good things take time. So True. I'm just going to go right into the centre of my cardstock. Mm -hmm. We're then going to just press that down so it picks up. Now you can see from the size of this, what would happen, this would fit onto your 6x6. Six six. It would just fit on your 4x4 four four as well. But because it's sizeable stamp, I'm going to go in and then I'm just going to ink up I'm using my waterproof ink pad and I'm using the flagstone. Um, the reason I'm using water, the waterproof ink pad, Ben, even although I'm not going to come over the top and do any more water-based technique, I always find it gives much more of a sharper mm. coverage or a stamp, uh, sharper stamped impression. So we're just going to lift that up and then we've got good things, take time. Nice. Pressed into the background. Uh -huh. So set that one out the way for now and then let's bring in our scattered corner and border so this is our dazzling stars i feel that's a favorite because that's the one we saw this morning i feel you guys are loving that one particularly. I, I do mm. i love it i absolutely love this one mm. and what i'm doing although this doesn't really matter what was the way to say it is i'm using some watercolor cardstock bend to add a little bit of texture however this is going to be my drop shadow so it could be inexpensive white spare cardstock that you've got. Yeah. It's just to create that drop shadow behind the blue that we're going to do. So I'm just going to take that out. I'm not even going to use the corner. What I'm going to do is just use the border. We're going to pop these bits out here. Mm. And you've got a couple of little stars that pop out that you could keep a hold of, but I'm not going to. I just want the actual border. I'm then going to go in with, you've got incredible bundle of luxury cardstock. You, I have. That's one of the Monday mega deals. It is. And I'm going to my well, double favourite. And that is my favourite is the luxury cardstock being the blue, the ice yeah. blue. And from all those ranges of cardstocks, I love the satin. I am a map. complete, um, uh, what's the word? Follower of the satin, if you like. I used to be all about the mirror card, but the satin is just, it's got, it, it's got that bit more sort of luxuriousness about it, it does. hasn't it? Yeah, mm. a little bit more subdued compared to mm. the mirror. And I think for, for that reason, as you said, it just adds that little bit more luxuriousness to it. Then what we can do is let's go in on the back of our blue satin die cut. I'm going to go in with my dots here. So we're just going to add our dots to the back. So layer these ones up. These are the sorts of dies that your dotty tape runner is perfect for. So let's take that off our back. So let's take that one. Peel I'm sure that just one. message saying, what was the cardstock, please? Uh, the cardstock, uh, the blue cardstock was from our luxury um, cardstock, which we'll it show is. you in just a minute. What, what other card have you used here um, to, to make the, um, so the card I front? So I inked onto there. That's just our watercolour yeah. cardstock. Yeah. And the white layer that I've die cut this border on, I've also done that into 
watercolour cardstock. It was, my initial thinking was to give it a little bit extra texture. However, as you can see, as it's a drop shadow, you're not really going to get the feel of that texture. So even if it's a bit of inexpensive white cardstock, mm. that would do the job. And then before I put this onto my black cardstock, before we finish, what we're going to do is let's take another one that I've done here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to, we can take, it's a bit from earlier on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my dots all the way over the back. <laughs> yeah. However, what I'm going to do, Ben, before I attach this to my black layer, I'm going to bring this in and then I'm going to pop that Ooh, to yeah. the left hand side off the page. And I'm doing it so it just curls into the beginning of that T. Mm. We're going to do the same with the next one here. So let's add our dots on. So we've now got a different look. Not only have we got our borders in one length, you've got your corners as well if you choose to use them. But what we can do is we can shorten. We can shorten these because I'm going to press that in. I'm going to turn that around. Let's snip that off and snip that off. Now, these little bits you could keep using and you can have just coming out the corner there if you want to or down at the bottom. I'm not. I'm going to keep it as it is. We're going to bring in our straight tape runner. Mm -hmm. And we're going to add that onto a bit of black. Beautiful. So it's just over five and a half inches by five and a half inches. Now that could go onto a six by six card blank, but add in an additional white matting layer and black matting layer that can then go onto a seven really by seven pretty. or an eight by eight. What I've just done as well inside, try to get into the habit of always doing my insert. Do you know what I love about that front of that card as well is the different size of um, matting layer that you've done. Yes. I love that effect. So yeah. a slightly bigger outside frame. Slightly bigger. What so is that, like a half, half inch, is it? Would it so be? that one is six, so it's an extra half inch, yeah, yeah, but a very fine, so it just goes to show, very fine black matte and layer, just goes to show, if you want to go on a smaller six by six, you can, but if you want to go into a larger car blank, but you're quite worried or concerned about filling, just go in and add an additional couple of mats and layers. That's going to fill it. You know what I'm like? I still love my white borders mm. all the way around. The little glitter drops, these are from the glitter glue. You can use our glitter glue range. However, this was from our advent calendar. We've got a gold and we've got a silver glitter glue. So I've just added that in. And incidentally, as well, this is the one that I'm actually cur currently giving away on my Facebook page just now. Oh, it's nice. open until next week. So you are at the end of this week. So you'll find that across on my Facebook. Facebook page, but that is what we've just done there to show you the concept Perfect. of building up onto your card. Um, your card. So much to just take care of here. Loads of comments and uh, a couple of questions and some requests which I'll do. Uh, do have, have we got time here just to have a look at the, or should we do that later on, the water reactive that Tim was having a problem with? Oh yeah. Should we do that now or should we want to, have a look at that in a bit? Would you want to do it now? I don't mind. I, yeah. Do you want to have, I'll, well, I'll read some comments whilst you find do it. that. Um, Hannah just said, Ben, may you please take a moment to thank and praise our wonderful community here. Uh, if they hadn't cared and told me to, I would not have gone to hospital and wouldn't know that my arm is broken. Oh, no. Very special peeps. That, well, we always knew that, that we have some very special people within this crafty community. Um, and get, well, how on earth? What? You need to fill me in with that, but hopefully you're well um, and you're all sorted now. But well done to our crafty community for sending you to the right place. Um, yes, yeah, sending you all the, all, all the love and the best wishes, Hannah, with your, with your arm. Ouchie, is all I can say to that. Um, and Mary Beth Doyle says, big shout out to Sharon in customer service. Um, I used chat this morning and Sharon got my problem solved right away. I know Sharon's name comes up quite a lot and I know she is a very, very um, helpful uh, customer service elf. And I always say that um, 
the, our customer service team are brilliant. They will always, always do their very best for you. The chat function on the website is brilliant. Do give that a go. If you've ever got a problem, anything you want to know, anything you want help with, please do use that. Uh, lots of love for the project coming through as well. Um, Stephanie just saying, this is very cool, Craig. I saw it when you were on a hobby maker. I love it. Uh, Caroline F says, this is a lovely effect. Um, I really should do this. Give all of these a go. That's why we're here. That's why the guys bring you this inspiration so you can get these home, give them a go, um, have a bit of a play. Um, Beautiful card, Craig. Love the inspiration, says Cheryl. Uh, and Candy says, what a great idea. Beth says, my husband just walked through and asked, what in God's name I am watching with that music? Would that be when we were singing the, uh, the stripper song? <laughs> Apologies for that. Uh, <laughs> yikes. And Lillian says, ah, you see, there's eyes watching everywhere. Eyes watching everywhere. Lillian says, Dave called Craig a minx after last week's debacle. You got called a minx, apparently. I think he did, didn't yeah. yeah. You yeah. little minx. Um, love it, Craig, says Renetta Murray. Happy New Year. Um, where was that stamp from, Sam McDonald's asking? I know you said a few minutes ago. Um, where was that um, inspirational? Mindful quotes stamps. Mindful quotes, yeah. Um, and a quick, I say, quick question before we then get on to Tim's question. Uh, Crafty Stacey Lou is asking, how sticky is the ink before you um, dry it? Would it be st uh, sticky enough to add embossing powder before you dry it with your heat tool? Yes. Embossing powder, yes. It's not sticky as though it's tacky sticky, so it's not going to take anything like a glitter or anything like that, but it's like a tacky, it's damp sticky, so that you start to apply it then, sprinkle your embossing powders on, and the powder will stick. But yeah, it's not sticky as in it's going to work for like your flakes or your glitters or anything like that. Okay, um, as I say, I'll, I'll recap on this, and I know we've got a Monday Mega Deal to show you, but let's get this for Tim. And the, these aren't on the show, but you can get them on the website if you want to pick them up. Uh, water reactive ink. So Tim is saying he struggles to blend them. Have you got any advice, Craig? Yes, so let's go in. It just so happens I've taken plum jam and fuchsia here. And what I'm just about to say here, you can follow along with this when it comes to things like your duet and that as well, if you want to. But what we're going to do is we're going to take, the best way to explain it, Ben, is a run and jump. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to load up there with the fuchsia and I'm just going to go in and I'm going to start onto my glass mat or my craft mat. And then what we're going to do is we're then just going to then start to come along onto our cardstock and we're just going to start to blend onto our card. So if you want to come back again and apply, you can do that. So we're just going to then start to work and blend onto our glass mat. And we're going to take a run and travel or a run and jump up onto our cardstock. Okay. So if I apply that again, go in, dab onto your glass mat and then start by working your way around on the glass mat and then slowly get closer and closer to your cardstock. So we can keep doing that again. Put a little bit of scrap or that, if you're working all the way around, put a little bit of a scrap cardstock or something underneath, underneath your hands and on top of the layer because the oil's in your oh, hand. Oh, you get like finger. Will marks. then give you the fingerprints onto your cardstock. Mm. So therefore, a little bit of scrap, kitchen roll, just anything like that just to create that barrier. But you want to take that run and jump up. So starting onto your, from your glass mat or your craft mat and then blending that in. And then we're just going to go up and blend. So get that circular motion going to start with. And then we're going to take that up to our card. And then if you're coming along and you're using another color as well. So if I now go in with the plum jam, Let's just carry on going. And you can keep using up that excess. You'll be surprised as to how far and how long that will keep going. So let's just do a little bit more so you can see we've got pretty much a pretty good blend, one tone blend onto your cardstock. Yeah. And it's simply, it's exactly the same. So keep your lighter tone that you've used or the other color that you've used, keep that to hand. So I'm going to go in with the plum jam now. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do exactly the same. So we're just going to layer up and then we're just going to then take that run and jump up. I'm only going to do it one side so that you can see the difference between the two of them. And is it just a couple of pounces onto your ink pad when you're putting them? I do it, yes. Yeah. So right. to start with, I'll really start to layer up my ink pad I'll start mm. to, or my blending tool, I'll really start to layer that up. But then after I've done it a couple of times, Ben, what I just do, you can kind of see me just off camera, I'm just dabbing onto my 
ink pad. Yeah. And then blending it on. Tim is watching this, which I'm pleased about, and he's just also asking, Craig, is it better to use the square or circular blending tool? Personal preference. Right. If you're not sure, try both. Mm. Try both. They both do exactly the same job. It's just what you have that preference in using. Some people get a better blend by using the square. Some get a better blend by doing the circle. It's Your square ones are larger. Yeah. So sometimes you might find that you're going to get that harsh edge from the square. But just try it. Give it a shot and see. And then what we're just going to do is, once again, now we've gone back to that light, we can just come along and then we can just blend that all together. I'm just going to go into that opposite side, just using that cardstock each time just to protect the layer from my fingers, the oils on my fingers. Just going back in and blending the two together that we can see starting to here. Mm. And then the more that you add, the more that you're going to blend that in. So you can go into the center and I'll quickly show you that as well. So you can see this time what I'm doing is I'm just layering it up. I'm just dabbing a little bit, but instead of taking that run and jump, what I'm doing is I'm going direct onto my card. Just make sure you take that excess off because you can keep going back and using it. You've got all that excess off, go straight onto the middle, then you can get that harsh outline. Take the excess off, then go direct into the center of your cardstock, and then you can start to reuse what you've got. Mm. So you've got that blend there. But then let's say once again, let's say the fuchsia, and I'm taking that excess off, and what I'm doing is lightly, so just very, very lightly, as I'm going in to stop any harsh edge blend. You're going to use some more of that in a minute. The fuchsia. You want me to go back to it in a minute? Go back to the fuchsia. Can do. Inking up that excess off and then going straight back into the centre. So again, if you're going into the centre of your cardstock, take the excess off first. So it's a non-porous surface, your glass mat, your craft mat, so you'll be able to keep going back and using up what's there. And then if we do that, again, let's this time go back to the plum jam. Doesn't have the same ring to it. Let's ink that up, and again, smoothly and gently into the centre. And the only reason I'm doing centre here is just to show you how you can either blend off the card, onto the card, or if you are going direct, which one of the key points that Leanne wanted for these when they first launched the Water Reactive, and that was even before I joined the company, and I bought them when they were on another channel, huh. because I love the idea. What I've done there, that's what, for many, many, many years that you were taught by the legend, that is Tim Holtz, blend off your card stock. So take that run, take that blend onto your card. The key thing with Leanne, with our water reactives, you want to be able to do a blend direct onto the card stock. So do it lightly. I'm now going back into that lighter tone. And then you would just, if you were doing a three tone, a four tone, whatever, you're just going to keep going back. Wow. But if you're going central, then mm. just go light. And you can see you've got that blend between the two tones there in the center of your card or you can take that run and jump, so blend in. Circular motions. The key thing I would say, whatever tool you're using, circular motion. That's just my personal preference. That's my, my best advice to you, is blend in circular motions. Excess off onto your glass mat or craft mat, blend on, and you can keep going back and reusing what you've just taken off. Thank you, Craig. Hopefully, Tim, that was helpful for you. And um, again, that's what we're here for. If ever we can help you out, if we ever can sort of demo something to, to, to make life easier for you, then please do ask. Um, any more questions, comments, fire them through. We are going to have another look at the um, mesmerizing glitter paste in just a second, because um, I know a lot of people absolutely loving those. One thing you might want to get your hands on, uh, indeed, if you want to be able to recreate uh, Craig's last demo, of course, is the luxury um, card stock that we've got. Now, this is a, a br unbelievable deal, actually, because um, it's 24 hours only. It was 24 hours when it started today, so it will end um, midnight wherever you are, I think, is how it's going to work for you. It's a six-piece collection, and what you're going to be getting within this is our luxury card stock, where you get... Uh, 10 sheets of our beautiful glitter cardstock, 10 sheets of that gorgeous mirror cardstock, and 10 sheets of that matte mirror as well, plus a little bit left over as well. You get a little bit more than 30 sheets within each of these packs. But this deal is brilliant because we're giving you the blue. You're going to get that in the gold as well. So again, our non-shed glitter cardstock, beautiful mirror cardstock, and that ever so uh, stunning 
and um, very expensive looking satin mirror cardstock. Then you've got it in the silver as well, 30 more sheets. We're also going to give you 30 more sheets in the green, same breakdown, 10 of each, that's 120 sheets already. That's where you finish paying. £31.20 or $50.40 is your price, but we're then going to throw in the purple. Again, 10 sheets of the gold, gold, 10 sheets of the glitter, 10 sheets of the mirror, 10 sheets of that uh, matte mirror or satin mirror, and then you're also going to get our um, luxury cardstock in the um, precious metals. I won't open this one up. Um, if we come back to this later on, I'll try and see if we've got an open one out there because I keep opening these up and I'll get in trouble with cheeky nug nugs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I'm enjoying that new nickname. What you're getting in here? Um, in a t -shirt. In a <laughs> you can make them a T-shirt, can you? Yeah. Uh, across and a mug. <laughs> across uh, a mug, mug for nug nugs. <laughs> hey, we could get merchandise. Go Tracy's own merchandise. <laughs> Tracy McNugnug. I love it. You're going to get across these uh, beautiful colours in here, uh, 10 sheets of glitter cardstock. Uh, so you've got five colours, two of each. You're also getting uh, 10 sheets of your matte mirror card and 10 sheets of your mirror card, but also in this bundle, you're getting uh, 10 sheets of your adhesive glitter cardstock as well. Only place, as far as I'm concerned, that you can um, get it with us is within that bundle, and we're giving it to you for free alongside your purple when you go for this set. So that's the freebies within the bundle. It is one of the Monday mega deals. Uh, only available for 24 hours. £31.20 or $50.40 is the price on that. Do check the web for all of the other Monday mega deals as well, because as I say, there's still um, three of them available. One has sold out. Uh, something else which has been hugely popular, of course, are our mesmerizing glitter paste, still available for you. We've got the eight fantastic um, mesmerizing glitter pastes themselves, which we're going to see in just a few moments' time. You can also go for the stencils too. Those stencils um, are available as well. Um, I'll sh actually, just before we look at the video with Bianca, she doesn't actually show you the um, stencils within the video. Uh, the deal on the screen that you're seeing there is just for the, uh, the glitter paste. These stencils you can get individually as well um, as a separate bundle. There's actually 18 stencils that you're going to get in total here. This is that gorgeous laurel leaf stencil. Um, which actually Lily used this morning on her demo in Wake Up Call on the card of the show. You get the 8x8, uh, eight eight, you've got your icon, and you've also got your um, little border as well. You'll notice with these two that these are um, slightly bigger and the fact that you've got that kind of outer border, that buffer zone if you like, so it, it, makes, you, it makes it easy for you to apply this onto your card and not worry about getting uh, glitter where you don't want it. Uh, you're also going to get the sun rays if you go for the stencils collection. Beautiful set here, which is called your uh, geometric decor, where you've got that beautiful um, Greek key design, which I know a lot of people uh, loved when we brought that to you last week. And then you've got three sets of um, smaller stencils, the Contemporary Trio featuring uh, that beautiful star. You've got that uh, stunning sun ray and your zigzags. Then you've got here the um, interlocking trio, again, with some really fantastic designs. Uh, and then last, but certainly no means least, is that elaborate stencil set uh, containing more of those swirls and flourishes. You've got that damask effect in there too. All of those for £36 or $44 if you want to add those in. And again, you know what? Things like your, um, uh, your duet ink pads, all your other ink pads, you'll be able to pop through there as well. Things like your sprays. Obviously, you're going to be using them with your uh, mesmerizing glitter paste but they're so super versatile, as you will know, with stencils, and particularly if you're just starting off, a really great way to start and create uh, your own backgrounds. So uh, let's have a look at this then, the Mesmerizing Glitter Paste collection. So the eight-piece collection is £52 or $63.20, and here's Leanne going through all of the uh, glitter paste and also showing you just how gorgeous they are when the light hits them in different directions and showing you all of the different materials you can apply them to. They're absolutely amazing, Ben. So what we've got here is our brand new range of uh, mesmerizing glitter paste. Mm. And what we've done is create a beautiful glitter paste with all of the properties of our previous glitter paste, how you use them um, and how versatile they are. But we've given you a coarser, chunkier particle, which gives you this beautiful color plane. We've included more than one color in the pot. So you get this color shift and change and high intense sparkle refraction of light. That was Enchanted Lake. 
Um, I'm going to put my glasses on just so I can tell you the rest. <laughs> then we've got peacock. Wow. And what you'll see here, look, the dark navies, mm. the violet, the violet in there, also the teal, that jade green, the gold. You can see as I move it how that glitter paste colour shifts and changes. Then we've got my favourite. <coughs> <coughs> Equinox. <laughs> I absolutely love it. You've got all of those jades, golds, bronze, green. Oh my word, it is so beautiful. Look at the colour shift and change. And this is what will happen for you in your projects. Then we have Mermaid's Tail. Mermaid's Tail really is that beautiful. Uh, it is a mermaid's tail. It is, yeah. You've got that lovely aqua, you've got the gold and green, the navy, the azure colour in there as well, which is really lovely, that beautiful topaz look to it. And you can see that beautiful colour shift, refraction of light and the intense shine and sparkle that we've got in all of these pastes. This one, Moon Bloom, absolutely exquisite mm. because it's got that lovely gold um rose gold and kind of bronze all the way shot through that beautiful pink underlayer which is fabulous then we've got wood nymph wood nymph is um again a beautiful and it really does have that lovely shift of color yeah from the deep teal through the emerald through the gold green um, and through the lime color there gorgeous that's very elvira for me and then we get the mystical ocean that's the one we've just been using on the neon dreams pad wow, where you can yes. see it's beautiful with the lilacs and the azures and the navies looks absolutely glorious and then finally my second favorite rose garden mm -hmm. which is beautiful you've got through the greens the rose colors the rose golds in there you've got a little shot of blue and lilac in there it's absolutely exceptional i love it and i think it's safe to say as well like we've looked through all of those um amazing uh colors but the other amazing thing about these is that they go on to leanne don't they pretty much Anything? Everything, yes. So mm. let me just show you a few things that we've got here. Um, I'm just reach over and get this one. A slate coaster. Oh yes. So this is very subtle. Um, I love it. But this is with Equinox, and you can see as it's dry, it really does show that glitter and shine a little bit more. This is with Rose Garden, so you can be customising your slate coasters if you want to. This uh, was an MDF oh, yes. tag, mm -hmm. and you can use it on your MDF tags if you want to. Um, these are just some little pieces that we did earlier where you can see on a cardstock that's rose garden and look at the color shift and change yeah. in rose garden there and the color shift just become more obvious when it's dry Ben when it's wet it interferes with the refraction of light a little bit so it's easier to see that color change when the piece is dry and that's the same color by the way on black so you can see the difference between using them on <sighs> black and it's on the white cardstock. Look, look at the, the colour change on the black. Look. Wow. It goes from the green through the rose garden. It really is beautiful. Mm. Let me do it this way for you. So you'll see it that way easier. There we go. Greens and blues through to the rose garden. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, use them on your candles. Oh, yes. So you see here we've decorated a candle. Look how gorgeous that is. And I have to say, loving this freestyled little border on the bottom of a candle. Yeah. Uh, really that's going to be the future for me you can apply it in a thin layer and have it delicately or you can apply it in a really thick layer and have it very dimensional standing up off the top of the candle entirely up to and you and just to reiterate we can burn those then can't we yes you can burn them very safely i've tried mm. that out for you and then this has to be the best oh yeah the acetate so on acetate we've done the ombre look how fabulous and jim's going to come in really lovely and close for you to see in those little windows the particles there we go oh, you can see the size incredible. of the particle you can see them dancing with the light how they're changing the color <laughs> and that's just um onto acetate at uh, three different colors we've got equinox we've got rose garden and we've got mystical ocean on mm -hmm. there and look, it's like a little disco ball of fabulousness, isn't it? I, love I really that. do think that shows you what I mean about the the larger particle, which really does refract the light very well and give you that colour shift and change. Now, uh, shall I show you just very quickly, Ben, how yeah, to put it down? Absolutely, that'd be brilliant. So I've got here a piece which is um, 
how many water reactive ink orange okay. and yellow a little bit of four bleaching i've got some repositionable adhesive on the back of my oh it's come off i'm going to put a bit more on because i don't want it to move there we go on the back of my stencil uh, my stencil's just been took out the bath it needs a bit of a better clean it's got some bits of blue on there but yeah. you'll have time uh more time on your hands than i have okay and then i'm going to use e equinox of course you are of course i That's am been your firm favorite today I think, it's been it? a firm favorite that and rose garden mm. are, the, are the two that i tend to go for the most um and then with this glitter paste when you spread it on because those particles are larger than in our original glitter pastes, mm -hmm. you just need to make sure that you're getting them into the spaces on the stencil because um, it, you don't want to pick those particles up and remove them with your palette knife. And I'll just show you there, if I press too hard, did you see how I've been able to remove it there? Yeah. And that was just too much pressure. So you're gliding over the top to put that in place. If you scrape it down, you're removing it. You can see that there. So I just want to show you that because that is a little bit of a different technique to the original glitter pastes. Um, and then don't clean the excess off your stencil until you've removed it. Yes. Because by trying to clean it, you've just seen there, what you will do is remove some of that paste and you don't want to do that. You want to leave it on. So we leave it on and then we clean off the stencil after we've removed it okay so once we've got the paste on there to remove the stencil it's one confident pull and it doesn't have to be fast it just has to be one smooth motion so you're not whipping it off quick uh, but you're not lifting and peaking lifting and peaking no. lifting and peaking you're just deciding i'm going to remove it i'm removing it now one confident <sighs> pull and you've got the most exquisite designs now this is going to get removed can I just show you that before before I wiggle this at you? Um, so I'm going to get a spare piece. This could be a piece of uh, scrapbook paper yep. or something from the Neon Dreams. At this point, put that down so you can use it again. Could be an inked background, Ben. Imagine whatever it is you want it to be underneath other than a piece of basic white card. Then go and do your clean up and you're just taking all of the paste that is around your stencil okay. and you're redistributing it into the stencil spaces so you're kind of trying to pick it off you can see that there but then i'm just redistributing into the spaces mm -hmm. um, and so i'm taking it off the actual stencil background comes on my palette knife redistribute and then what you will create is a practically clean stencil that will not require much cleaning in your stencil bath at all but what you will have is a really lovely let's just get that up there we go a really lovely more distressed design oh, that's and great. that's the second use and you yeah. see there's hardly any paste left now to go into that stencil bath and that will still catch the light beautifully and that's almost the waste that's the second the second coming if you like <laughs> yeah, yes. um, because it's got all of that lovely refraction now this is the one i've just done yeah um and this is still wet so you can still see some of that lovely color change in there but i'm just going to grab one that i did earlier that is dry now and you'll be able to see the color change much more once it's dry look how beautiful that is from the golds and the greens to the coppers it's absolutely unbelievable this is where you it? see it best for me here um let me shot. just show you here. right yeah. so look at the green underneath now I mean, yeah oh my goodness me look at the change yeah and Incredible. it goes all the way to the top and then back again so that's that beautiful color with those particle sizes the type of particle we've put in here that color interference that's what you're going to see yourself when let's try and do it this way for you as well that's yeah look oh yeah oh yes that's what you're going to see yourself because you'll see it in your natural eye in the natural light so much easier than you can see it in an unnatural studio light but i think that's managing to show you that color shift and change right there in front of your eyes it's incredible isn't it and it will improve as it gets dry um which makes it much much easier for you you will have the best time with these and you're going to use them on 
canvas on fabric, on coasters, on wood, on pottery, on glass, on mirror, on slate, on wax, on paper, on card, on vellum, on acetate, there, on sneakers, on denim jackets, on leather, on felt, on velvet. There is just, you can't name a, a surface where I'm going to say to you, no, you're not going to be able to do that, it's not going to stick. It will stick and it will be permanent to hand wash in hand hot or uh, if you're putting it on fabric at 30 degrees on a synthetic cycle in your washing machine no, preferably a non-biological powder but you're going to be able to wash it as well it's the most incredible glitter paste and can i say if you've had glitter paste in the past and you haven't had a good experience don't let that put you off trying our glitter paste please try them because we've put all of the effort into making sure that it will just perform for you and it will do whatever you ask it to do Mesmerising is the word. Really lovely just to see that clip again with Leanne taking you all through it. If you want to go for those mesmerising glitter paste, there they are. Mesmerisational is the word here. All eight you're going to get, as you've just seen. It is a word. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I think it is. Look it up. Mesmerisational. Uh, £52 or $63.20 is your platinum price there on all eight of those fantastic glitter paste that Leanne has just been showing you in the little video. Just to reiterate again as well, if you do want to go for the stencils, those are available for you in a different bundle, bundle. Um, and these are they. So it's a six piece uh, set of stencils that you're going to be getting. Uh, so 36 pounds or $44 platinum. Um, and you get them across all of these different designs. So this one is that elaborate stencils trio beautiful designs in there and again don't just think about using these with your uh, mesmerizing glitter paste you know think of all of the other uh, inks you're going to be popping through here as well and indeed all of your other glitter paste that you'll potentially have you can really create some really beautiful and bespoke backgrounds with this collection uh, you've then got your interlocking stencils trio so again three wonderful designs there uh, i think craig's going to be using one of these in his uh, next demo as well which we're going to be seeing in just a little while uh, next up, I really, really like this set. This is your... Oh, and Nicola, there we go. Great minds think alike, eh? Why do you like this one so much? You like this one? It's kind of like little um, twinkly stars. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Um, yes, anyway, twinkle, twinkle, little stars. You've got... I love this, as you guys know, if you've watched that show. I love that uh, rising sun, the sun rays there. I think are absolutely beautiful. And the zigzags, I think are absolutely brilliant all of these av again available as a bundle that you're seeing on screen if you do want to go for them individually and by that i mean the threes together you can as well they are available uh, as individual packs this one's that geometric decor we had a lot of lovely comments about this on the launch show i think particularly um, a lot of people loved that uh, beautiful border design that you're seeing just here um there's my fave there it is uh, with uh, you've got the rose garden on there haven't you I think coming through and uh, also I think it's the mystic ocean um, we've got just here but a really lovely set of stencils to be playing with once again your big background stencil your icon and then your border and then you've got this one here which is your beautiful laurel leaves and again you get that bigger um, stencil you've got your beautiful kind of focal point and then you've also got uh, that beautiful border included as well. A uh, few comments coming through. Thank you, Sam McDonald, who says, I ordered the glitter paste and stencils. I cannot wait till they arrive. Got to be any day soon, hasn't it? Surely, if you ordered them, um, yeah, on the launch, I'm sure they'll be with you very, very soon indeed. Uh, Good morning, crafters and their companions, says Carol D. I like that. Uh, just a quick check-in. I'm in the middle of a whole wardrobe clear-out. Yikes. Uh, and my house looks like someone omitted clothes in three rooms. Uh, Michelle says, afternoon all, afternoon. Uh, just getting back from taking myself out to lunch. Well, how lovely, what did you have? Anything fancy pants? Let us know. Any nug nugs? <laughs> Any uh, Caroline F, Caroline F says, ooh, I've just received the mega pack of foam pads. Carol D says, the set of stencils is really good. I especially love the leaves and the Greek key. What did I say? Everyone loves the leaves and the Greek key, right? Uh, and Sue Benson says, this is so, so beautiful. Um, thank you as well. I know we've got a few more questions coming in. We'll tackle those very shortly indeed. Keep firing them in. We are live and interactive for the next hour. Any questions and also anything you want to see, any requests, fire them in and we'll do our very best for you. 
If you have just joined us, a very warm welcome to the show. Monday Makers um, is the show. We've got loads of great demos still to come for you. And also, we'll have the vote for the demo of the show before the end of the hour. And indeed, all important vote for demo of the day. Craig versus Lily. <laughs> Two crafting heavyweights go head to head in the battle for the demo of the day. <laughs> Kind of ironic because we're both very slim as well. Two crafting featherweights going head to head in the battle for the demo of the day. All right over there. That was good. Thank you. Um, we're going to come to Craig in just a second because um, I believe you're going to do a little demonstration with the beautiful uh, floral stamps, aren't you, and the collages? I am indeed. We're going to bring in a little bit of the Mermaid Dreams and one of the glitter pots. And what? What did you say then? We're going to bring in some of the mermaid dreams and one of the glitter pots. <laughs> do you want to know what I heard? Or do you not want to hear? No. I want to know. We're going to bring in one of those... Uh, what, what? <laughs> I thought you said we're going to bring in the chicken pox. <laughs> That's well, what. I've had them and shingles before. I don't want them again. Anyway, before we get to that demo with the chicken pox, I mean the uh, glitter pots, we are going to have a quick look because you've been sending these in. You've been asking. We've got a gallery. It's been all about the cats today. Don't blame me. Blame our opera. Oh, blame our opera singer um, Annika, who was in earlier on. <laughs> Just say the first picture you're going to see is not a cat. However, Debbie Swanson, you win the day with this picture. You win the day, Debbie. That is. Brilliant. Debbie, I believe this is <laughs> but Fifi. Uh, and what, we, what we can't see there is that it apparently has a ponytail. Well, any, any thoughts on Fifi there, Craig? Very unique. Fantastic is what I say. That is... Reminds, I know, reminds me of Mrs Mangle from Neighbours years ago. Does look a little bit like Mrs Mangle. Have you seen... Hercule, which is Michael's vacuum. No. He's got like a little moustache and a bow tie. No. No. Oh. Michael, if you're watching, please send in a picture of Hercule. Uh, but Debbie, that is brilliant. I love Fifi. Um, props to you. That is great. And then Patricia, as I remember you mentioned earlier, Patricia, that you'd, you had, you had uh, put some eyes on your scissors, but you've got the really sweet looking uh, vacuum there. I don't know what your vacuum's called, but very, very cute. And the scissors are like, oh, hello, I'm a pair of scissors. And then the Gemini 2 is like, oh, I'm hello. a Gemini 2. I'm very don't angry. Don't mess with me. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to eat your plates up. <laughs> <laughs> Looks angry, doesn't it? It too. does. It's really, really cross. And the funny thing is, it's eyelashes on it. It's, it's, yeah. it's like nug nugs out there. Nug nugs. By the way, everybody, thank you so much for popping eyes on all of your crafty uh, products. When I suggested you put eyes on your vacuums, I never thought it would stretch to <laughs> us doing <laughs> picture galleries. But... Wait until people actually start putting them on their real vacuums. <laughs> oh, yes, that's the next thing. Um, and then next up, we've got a cat in a box. Cat, cat in, in a, a box. box. Cat in the box, cat in the box, cat in the box. It's George. Look at George. Ah, uh, Linda Fitch's oh, cat, it's our George. Linda's. Yeah. And, and George is helping, apparently, in the craft room. But this is what I'm talking about, right? So that is obviously a crafter's yeah, is, companion box. Put a box anywhere near a cat and they will jump in the box. Yeah? Yeah. Well, they're going to prove it. We're going to get a box if you'll jump in it. But me? You. Yeah. I'm not a cat. But I probably would jump in if it was big enough. <laughs> um, George is very cute, Linda. Thank you so much. That's so cute. I've got a lot of time for this next picture as well because I love Aww. a tortie. Uh, Dotty Lottie. Um, Caroline F, the crafty chimp. That is a super cute cat you've got there. Um, she looks like she um, needs a lot of um, brushing. Um, cute. Is it me? Does it look? I know it's not, but it looks like her tongue's out. But it's just the colour. Oh, of yeah, a little bit. Of her lip. Yeah. She looks very content, this she Dotty does. Lottie. Yeah. You're just watching the birdies outside. That's it. Watching, yes. Yeah. yeah. I do that. Watching the birdies. Watch the birds outside. Do you? Go past. <laughs> <laughs> Wishing I was with them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. And it did, I, I saw Craig double take at this next picture. It took me a little time. You know, you can't quite see the picture yeah, initially. Was... It's too... Are, are they made... Are they Maine Coon cats? They look like they are, like the bigger cats. They, mm. oh, it's 
Carletta, they, these are your cats. I mean, I'm telling you, you obviously know that you, they're your cats, uh, but I'm telling everybody else. Um, Holly and Thomas. Look at the size of the TV remote. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is a big TV remote. I thought you were looking at the size of um, that one's feet there. They've got beautiful feet. It does. Hairy feet. See, but, see, if that was my cat or even if it was a dog, I'd be going with my finger. Oh, yeah, going. Just tickle, 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 tickle. And then it'd start, like, kicking. Yeah, kicking. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Very cute. Um, Holly and Thomas, love those, Carletta. Then we've got little Hazel is our Aww. next picture. This is Michelle's grand fur baby. Um, oh, so we saw Michelle's four cats earlier on, I remember, right, yes, including so Chow Chow. And this is Hazel, who is the grand fur baby. Very cute. You've got a lovely um, set of kitties there. I tell you what, making me, uh, making me want to um, go to the cat's uh, rescue on Friday when I'm off and adopt a cat. I can't wait to see Laura's face when I walk in with a, uh, a feline under my arm. <laughs> Next up, it's Jack Black. Look at that. He's so cute. He's just super cute. Now, this is also Caroline's um, cat. I've got a feeling that as well as you guys loving your craft, you love your cats as well, because never have I done a longer picture gallery than this one here with all of the, uh, the, the, the cute little um, kitties on. So there's Jack Black. And again, just to prove to you, any size box, if, a, if it's a box and a cat, the cat will go in it. Sandy's <laughs> in the box. Sa oh, Sandy's actually crafting with his fuzzy felt there, apparently, in that, um, but also in, in a box. box. Yeah which you can see is obviously not really big enough for, for Sandy, but put a, put a box there, they'll jump in it. Yeah. Love Sandy. Just like this next one, here we go. Shadow and baby girl. Baby girl. Ah, uh, Rhonda, I love this. How funny is this, right? So um, I'm assuming is Shadow is obviously the one in the front, right? Baby girl, that's a nickname that we have for Molly, our dog, is our it? Holly. Yeah, her nickname baby is girl. baby girl. Go, come on, baby girl, baby girl. Yeah, so there's um, Shadow and baby girl but that is actually baby girl's name baby girl uh, i love yeah. that got a lot of time for that um cat in a box and here oh hang on a minute this is shadow watching the tv what shadow's watching me watching you on the tv this is um terry's cat it's like hi ben i wonder if like, shadow was trying to like bop me or maybe. swap me maybe bopping them on the head yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh well i absolutely loved that gallery it was really really uh, fun thank you so much for sending those in um <coughs> <coughs> we finished the, the eyesight i have to get close to the screen you have got a screen over there you know can you not see it doesn't doesn't you've got a big tv just there it doesn't work oh, it doesn't <sighs> did you enjoy the uh, what have to use yours Right. Hashtag unprofesh. Thank you for all the pics. Feel free to send in um, to send in more. We enjoyed that. Uh, kitty cam. I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Kitty cam. Uh, yeah, don't, 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 don't put that in your search engine. <laughs> <laughs> if you are, don't do it in the work search engine. <laughs> the Wi-Fi. OMG, crafters are the best people, says Carolyn F. They are. You, tr you truly are the best people. Um, lots of love um, and uh, cooing over the kitties coming through. Um, and Carletta Morris says, uh, no, your cat, uh, not a Maine Coon cat, but he is quite big. Uh, he's a flame point Siamese. Wow. That was going to be my next guess after, it wasn't, after um, Maine Coon. Thank you, everybody. Keep sending in more pics. Maybe we should do like a pet a day. Maybe tomorrow we what should. What could do tomorrow? Cockatiels. <laughs> oh God, don't even start that again. Dog's the obvious one, but... Dog, the RA. Yeah. What pets haven't we done? Bunnies? Guinea pigs? Guinea pigs? Leanne would be right through. Yeah, I could send in pictures of my two guinea pigs. Hamsters? Just send in pictures of pets, we love them. Um, right, we better move on. We've taken about 10 minutes on that gallery. It's fun though, wouldn't it? Fun. Crafting and kitties, what more do you want? Right, and the floral collage stamps. That's what you guys want. Uh, that's what we're going to look at now. These are fan blooming tastic, and I know we did a demo with these earlier on with Lily, but up to that point, um, I've not really seen these a lot, but I, I love the idea of these in the fact that 
you were afforded the opportunity to be able to create the most amazing background and then have your focal point of the flower in each one because you get your mask which matches up beautifully with your main floral element so you can create the most extra extravagant beautiful backgrounds and still have that focal point of the um, main flower as well because you're going to use it in conjunction with your mask that's not to say that you have to do that every time because of course you've got a lovely set of stamps here which you can just use um, individually um, so you've got a lot of versatility with this. Uh, five fabulous flowers in here with accompanying stamps which bring you things like beautiful lettering um, and little uh, postmarks. You've got little corners and swirls. You've got sentiments with all of these as well. So that one is your beautiful rose. This one here is the sunflower. And again, love the fact that you've got lots of um, texture stamps in here to build up your own backgrounds with ink splats. Um, you've got little, almost like falling snow there, little hessian um, square, but lots and lots to build up these stunning backgrounds. A great way for you to look like an absolute pro, um, but it's really, really simple um, to create that effect with. Next one here is your peony. Again, large peony stamp, lots of little individual, a bit more vintage this one actually, because you've got lots of um, little frames with sentiments in, little flourishes, love that um, old sort of vintage key. But again, look at that, creating that gorgeous background. Um, and I love again what Lee was doing earlier on, sort of stamping into the background, doing like sort of second gen and third gen stamping to create that really really um, beautiful effect then you've got um, Craig's favorite here um, cone flower or echinacea um, and once again there's your main um, element of that beautiful echinacea and then some really stunning um, uh, texture stamps little postmarks on there you've got carte postale which of course is postcard um, you've got your echinacea and you've got your rue le Pelletier Paris and then lastly, in this bundle, or I say lastly, uh, you've got your daisy. Again, same thing here, beautiful daisy stamp, all of these little added extras. Um, and we're gonna have a look at these with Craig in just a second. But um, we mustn't forget that making up your 95 stamps in this collection um, is this bundle of your Simply Sentiments. What a brilliant collection of stamps that you've got right here to basically create, I mean, pretty much any sentiment you want, really. Um, I won't read through all of the words here, but you're going to be covering off things like uh, birthdays, you've got congratulations cards, you've got um, sympathy cards covered off in here. Um, I mean, there's, there's just literally so much. You're going to have so much fun um, creating your own sentiments with those, and they will work, of course, with this collection, but it will be the kind of stamp set that I think you'll keep close to hand um, just for um, simply popping in a sentiment on any project. £24 for all of that. What a bargain. $32 if you're shopping in the US and you're a Platinum member. Don't forget as well, if you're brand new, sign up to Club Inspire, you get 20% off your first order. So that price in the purple box will be yours. So as I understand it, you're going to be doing a quick little demo. Well, not necessarily quick, but a demo with this, but also incorporating one of the stencils from the mesmerizing glitters. I am, and one of the glitter paste as well. Yeah. Nice. Do that. Yes. Right, let's show you a few finished samples that we've got here. Love, love, love the fact you've got the stencil that goes over the floral. Now, if you want to use that sizable floral stencil on its own, you can absolutely do that. But then you've got all those embellishment stamps to go with it as well. So once again, all tying in together or use the floral stamp on its own, the embellishment stamps on their own, or of course you can mix and match. Let's not forget, you can use the stencil on its own. Just pop it onto a bit of cardstock, draw around it, do your little bit of zentangling if you want to, or spritz around it. There's many, many ways in which you can use the stencils on their own. You choose the colours, whether you're using the Duet, the Water Reactive, Pigment, Shimmer, Touch of Gold, any of those ones. The only ones I really probably wouldn't use are the Quick Dry because, well, they are exactly that. They dry very, very quick. So, you know, there is creative ways you can use Quick Dry, but I would use all the other ones. So let's go in. I've got my piece of white multi-purpose cardstock. I've cut it to three and a half by three and a half inches. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go in with the Romantic Rose because this is my favourite stamp. I love this one. So what I'm going to do is let's take just a little bit of excess ink there at the bottom. So I'm going to take that off and we're going to go over the top. So we're just going to go onto my card, over the top, and this will also fit on a six by six. But just so I can get a really nice, precise impression, what I'm doing is I'm just going to use my large stamping platform and I am close shave there. I don't want water reactive uh, or waterproof. I want 
my alcohol proof because I'm going to be using a couple of elements from the Mermaid Dreams collection. Yeah. Which is the, we're going to be using the Sea Dance. So this one here being in the Burgundy Barrel. Burgundy is Barrel. Three different colour families, but yes. they work well together. The other pen that I'm going to use from my tri blends, and that's the Alpine Green, both of which are all alcohol based pens. So, therefore, I need my alcohol proof ink pad. So, we're going to ink up. I'm just using the flagstone, it's just a little bit subtler than your Noir Black. So, we're going to go in and then we're going to press. So, I always like to keep one hand still, move the other, and then change over. Have the other hand that stays still, and then press with the other hand. And then, with it being the large stamping platform, if you release, if you've missed any little bits, just into the corner there, we're going to go in, let it settle, press. What I would always say, if you've missed any bits, before you apply any more ink onto your stamp, try your impression again. Because if you know you've coated your stamp with the ink, if you press it and you've missed a bit, if it's not on your cardstock, it's got to be still on your stamp. Yeah. So therefore, instead of overlaying with more ink when it's not needed, try pressing it again, you'll find, as long as you know that you've covered your stamp with the ink, then you can go back, apply, and that's going to pick up any missing bits. So that's all of the stamping that I need to do with that outline stamp. Let's then go in, and I'm going to take the coordinated stencil. Now, these fit bang centre over the top that you can see here. So they fit absolutely perfectly. You can use your repositionable spray. These are going to be a really good one for that. However, what I'm going to do is, it's not that I'm not a fan of the repositionable sprays, Ben. I just try not, it's not and again, it's not that I try and not use them. It's just that it's not something that I use a lot. Okay. The only time I've started to use them a lot more as of late is, funny enough, with glitter pastes. Okay. Glitter paste, that's when I've started to use our repositionable sprays more. If not, then what I'll just do is put a little bit of dotty adhesive. So why do you tend to use them for that? I really don't have an answer for that. Oh, okay. It's just, I think I've not, I've really not used the sprays. Ever since I joined Crafters, never used any sprays. Mm. And even now, it's not always my go-to. I'll just try and I'll always use that little bit of dots instead or I'll use my low tack tape. Of course, I can't use my low tack tape for this because I've got nothing to stick it to. What I mean by that is if I put my low tack tape over my stencil, it's going to go over my cardstock. When I come to ink and blend, it's not going to work. So I think it's purely just down to habit, Ben, okay. that I don't tend to use the repositionable sprays. Yeah. Then what we're going to do is let's go in with our sea glass. So this is a pigment ink pad. Now, it's completely different. It's unique to the Mermaid Dreams collection. However, what I would say is if you've got the Duet ink yeah. pad or you're going to get the Duet ink pads, think about getting the Mermaid Dreams collection. I'm sure it's still on the website in some forum because you've got some exclusive colours to just this collection. And then I'm just going to ink up with my blending tool. You can use your pouncer if you want to or your brushes. But what I'm going to do is I'm not going to blend like I was showing earlier on. I'm quite simply just going to pounce. Because if I do get harsh edges, that's, if, if anything, that's what I kind of want, Ben. I kind of want like harsh edges to make it quite rustic mm. because we're going to come along with our embellishment stamps. And I'm also, because I've not got a complete backing of adhesive, I've only got a couple of points where we've got the dots from the dotty tape runner, what I'm doing as well is I'm just holding it down with my hand. So we're going to take that all the way around, dabbing back, and then we're just going to work with our ink over the top, and then we're just going to then get that colour. And depending on the colour you're using, sometimes it can look like that you've not actually got a lot of colour on it. Yeah. And it's not until you take away that stencil that you see, oh my gosh, you know, there is a fair, fair amount of colour. So we've got that one there. So what I'm going to do then is let's come in with some of these stamps. Oh, yeah. So we've got all these embellishment stamps. I'm using the same ones from the same set, Romantic Rose, but you can start to mix and match if you want to. And you can use your any of your stamping platforms, or you could use your little stamping um, platforms or your rocker blocks. Yeah, okay. That was a way to say. Mm. However, when it comes to small and 
collage sort of effects. I just have, it's just an inexpensive acrylic block oh, yeah. that I've got. And I'm just going to stamp over the top. I'm just going to come in kind of at different angles here. And this is where, again, you know, for people who are new, it's just about having a bit of fun with this, isn't it? You're not, you're not being overly specific with this or overly worrying you nope. know, where these are going. You, you just have a bit of fun creating the backgrounds, right? That's it, exactly that. And then doing third, fourth, fifth, sixth mm. generation. What that means is once I stamped it first, that's your stamped impression. Then add in no more ink. If I go back and press again with a residual ink, that's a second generation. Yeah. If I do it again, third, again, fourth, and I keep doing it until I've pretty much not got any more ink left on my stamp. So I've done that script work that we've got there. Then we're going to go in with the little swirl. And this time we're going to go back to the sea glass. Okay. So we're going to ink up and then we're going to press. And although the blend on the back is sea glass and the swirl is sea glass, because I've blended it into the background, it's lighter. Whereas I'm going quite heavy, I'm going direct from the ink pad yeah. onto the card. So that's how you can see, you can just see that contrast. And again, we're just going to work that in into little bits. And again, I love the fact that sometimes, you know, you're going off the cardstock here. Sometimes Definitely. you're going over that mask, which, of course, will then mean, you know, that that's not going to show. So it doesn't matter. You're not getting the whole stamp on this every time, does it? No, no, not at all. Very rarely will you find if this sort of effect, I'll do the whole stamp. Yeah. I'll tend to cherry pick sections. And then let's take the little waves here. And for this one, Ben, I think, let's go like a grey water reactive. Let's, okay. Let's go, or let's go with a uh, pumice. Pumice? 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 Pumice. Pumice? Pumice. 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 Um, got these stamps before Christmas, says Kim, and I've not played with them yet. Really need to. Hopefully you'll pick up some inspiration from, from this demo. Candy says, get these. I ordered them at full price and they're worth every penny. Uh, the mask pre-cut are absolutely wonderful. Inspired me to do multimedia. Uh, and our Hayley is on the socials tonight as well, just saying, I love playing with these stamps and stencils and creating backgrounds with them. Um, yeah, it's a really fun way to create unique backgrounds, isn't it? Oh, it is. Mm. It's because you don't need to think about it, Ben. No. You really, really don't have to think about it. Carefully take that off. Oh, I mean... And even... At, do you know something, you Ben? So, I mean, you might, you might add colour, but so you don't even need it, do you? Um, and that's exactly what was the way to say. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. no. The one that I've done, I've coloured... But I'm not, I'm not going to colour it. I no, like that. I really like I it. I really, really like that. So what I'm going to do, because I was going to colour it, then I was going to put the stamp back over, or the stencil back over. I'm going to leave it crisp, clean and white. Beautiful. So, so let's put that back over there. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to go in with the elaborate trio stencils here. So I'm going oh, to yes. go in with this neat design. And then I'm just going to put in the natural fact. Let's go at a little bit of an angle. I'm going to press that on. Let me get Leanne's multi multimedia mat. OK. To um, use that one. Hannah, just to answer your question, you're just saying if you stamped and embossed those sentiments on white on black card, do we think they would look like a Dymo label? I think they've got that kind of look to them, sort of almost um, ticker tapey, if that's the kind yeah. of thing that you mean. They've got that sort of ticker tape look to them. They do. Yeah, they really, really do. Um, and hi to Geoffrey, who says, uh, Craig, I love your jumper. I would have trouble with those sleeves. Likely they'd end up with ink on them. Yeah, I'm, I'm close to that happening, and that's exactly as Nicholas just said there. That's why my, my sleeves are all rolled up. It's a nice jumper, that. Actually. That is brand new. Oh, is it? Yeah. As of? As of Boxing Day. Oh. Is it, a, is it a mate? I don't know, because I'm not hip and down with the kids. Um, it is, actually. Oh. To be honest, I wasn't sure if I would get away with wearing it, but oh. it's not something I'd be doing a lot. But, yeah, it is... Um, Oh, what was the story? It's something, 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 eight. Huh? Something V8, PR8, or something like that. It's a store. It's, it's a clothing store. Um, uh, something, 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 VA? No, it's, it's just like two letters and. C and A. No, not C and A. <laughs> no, it's. Uh... Yeah, let me have a look. Yeah, it's not, it's not on the label, although it's got 
Because I've got a thing for labels. This label feels amazing. Oh, H&M. No, no, no. Something, something, eight. B and Q. No. Leave me alone. Can I just have it? Oh, look. Is it not? No. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's not in there. <laughs> We like it then. When, when we go when we go back to Ben, I will see if I can find out. It's it's something something V eight. It's a letter letter in eight. Something V eight. It's in <laughs> it's in the Overgate in Dundee. Oh. What anyway. colour did you use by the way for your background? So that was from the Mermaid Dreams, and that was the sea glass. So I used the sea glass duet. I also stamped with it. And I've done a little bit of stamping with the sea shell pink, which is also from the Mermaid Dreams. DV8. Sorry? DV8. DV8. Yeah. That's it. Thank you. DV8. In, uh, in Dundee. In Dundee. In the Overgate. So going in with our Moon Bloom. What we're going to do within this one. So remember, I've, I've kept the stencil on top of the floral, or I've put it back. And then what we can do is we can go over the top, we're going to add our colour in, we're going to scrape down. Is that the moon bloom, did you say? Yes, it is. Mm. It is indeed. Sorry, Nicola, I'm looking up shops and all sorts over here. Hashtag presentation lead, very, been very busy on this show. I was just reiterating for anyone else who may have missed it, I did know it was the moon bloom, but I was doing that whole thing of going, oh, what, what was it again, even though I knew the answer, just for people who weren't concentrating. Whatevs. So let's then take that over the top. Yeah. I'm going to set that there. And what I'm going to do is if I take mm -hmm. my pokey tool. Yep. And I'm going to take the corner. And I'm going Ooh. to lift mm -hmm. over the top. Yes. So you can then, of course, add your glitter paste over the top or the direction that I'd originally was going down, because I've not actually ended up using the alcohol pens that I showed you there. So the sea dance and the alpine green, this was the original direction. Oh, wow. So instead of using <laughs> the glitter incredible. paste, but it just goes to show, mm. then if you keep it crisp, clean and white, so if I move that, let's move that out the way, I'll pass it on to Nug Nugs just shortly. <laughs> into here. And then I've just got a couple of layers, and all that I'm going to do is start to build these layers up. And then I've got our Sending Hugs Wonderful Friend. I'm just Aww. going to mat and layer these all together. That one I've just colored. So I've stamped out with alcohol proof, and I've gone in with the sea glass, which was the Lilac Whisper just quickly sketched, coloured over the top, and we're just going to build this card. Brilliant stuff. Um, lots of lovely comments coming through. Uh, these stamps are fun, and the masks are my absolute favourite, says Jennifer Love. Uh, so much fun to use. Uh, Trish Listel says, I love, love, love this set of stamps. They are so much fun to use. And Sarah Muir says, I love those. My list is getting bigger for my next order. Oh, lol. Um, I love making backgrounds. I have repositional paper, uh, but it can break easily and thank you to samantha cheney i know we've had some brilliant pictures come through today of um cats we've been looking at all your cats samantha says ben i have 25 pets they are called great grandkids lol 25 <laughs> pets 25 what are samantha we need to know now there's a lot of interest from the gallery here as well what what are the 25 pets please let us know. I thought she just said the grandkids. No, they are. Oh, are you? Oh, now here's the thing. I, that's a bit. So I have 25 pets. They are called great grandkids. So do you mean you have 25 yeah. great grandkids, or do you mean you have 25 pets that you call the great grandkids? Yeah, I, I took it as that way that the oh, great great grandkids as, and. The oh, that's why I took it. I took it as you've got 25 pets and you call them the great. Hmm. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, it could be either or, couldn't it? Either or. Maybe you call the great grandkids your pets, or maybe you call pets. Oh, Hayley thinks that she meant the great grandkids. That the they pet. are great the, grandkids. The 25 great grandkids. Yeah. Yeah, but they're great 
grandkids, Nicola. You know, if it was if it was twenty five grandkids, I would maybe be like. Gosh, do you that's mean a lot. that you have twenty five great grandkids, as in like they're brilliant, or are they great grandkids? Why have we even started this questioning now? Thank you, Samantha, for your comment. Um, I think it's twenty five great grandkids. What message are you putting on there? Yeah, sending, got, sending hugs. hugs. Wonderful friend. Aww. That um, is pretty. There we go. I love that. It's Thanks. a very versatile kit, isn't it? Very. So much fun. Mm. So, so forgiving as well, Ben, when it comes to the layering with the stamps. You know, you don't need to be exact. You don't need to be specific. Get, get your floral image stamp, get the stencil over the top, and then just random, if you're going to blend with ink like I'd done beforehand with the sea glass, you can do that. And then afterwards, just randomly stamp all over the place. Don't worry if you miss bits. Don't worry about going off the page. Don't worry if you blurry it. Just have fun and get creative with them. Yeah, and I love the fact as well that you've seen sort of interspersed within that demo crate, bringing in other elements to show that, you know, you can use your stencils with these, using your glitter paste with them as well. So really, really fantastic bundle. That is, it is 25 great grands, by the way. <laughs> Thank you, Samantha. Thank you. Wouldn't have slept tonight, honestly. Um, but yes, 25 great grands. So is that what I said? Yeah. So they are great, yeah. Yeah. I wish my grandparents called me that. What's that? I wish my, gra my grandparents called me that. I can't say what they used to call me. <sighs> I'm sure it was ever so complimentary. Yeah. Wasn't it? No. No. Um, if you want this collection. I think, having seen two demos with this today, this is probably my favourite deal of the day, particularly at that price of £24 platinum, $32. That is not what I said in Craft Bolt, but I can change my mind, Producer Nicola. Yes, hashtag presentation lead can change his mind throughout the course of the day today. I think I really enjoyed Lily's um, demonstration earlier on with these. Really enjoyed Craig's demo just there as well and shows you actually the versatility that you've got. And also, particularly if you're new, what? Whose was your favourite? Whose was my favourite? Yeah. My favourite what? Demo. Um, Mine's at Lily's. Show me yours again. Ah, uh, I really like yours. But it's not, it's not down to me to... Um, to say, is it really? Do you, have you got splinters? Excuse me? Have you got splinters? What do you mean? For sitting on that fence? No, I really like them both. Craig, Craig, Craig. What will you say to Lily when you're up at her tomorrow night? I'll go, I'll go. Lily, Lily, Lily. Oh, the single lilies. Oh, the single lilies. <laughs> <laughs> very good, that. I like them equally. They're very, they're very. No, the edge of lilies is beautiful. Different. Yeah. That's not a vote, by the way, just in case you're starting to vote one or two, because that's a demo of the show and a demo that was in this show that we've not done the vote for the demo of the show on yet. So um, stand by, that's coming up in just a minute. Anyway, as I was saying, this is the full collection. And if you're new, what a great collection to go for. Creating the most beautiful backgrounds, as you've seen with Craig, nice and simple to do. Um, just have fun with these, create, play. Um, use that mass to create a beautiful focal point. And I love the fact, again, that if you want to create that focal point with color, it's going to look amazing. But as Craig demonstrated as well on that demo, how beautiful does it look? Just um, you know, creating a colorful background, stamping in your first, second, third, fourth gen, however many times you want to go, and then leaving that focal point um, white. I've got a lot of time for white space. I think it looks gorgeous. But if you want to color in, of course you can as well. Uh, Echinacea is your um, next one in there, your cone flower. You've got your peony. Um, in this collection as well. You've also got the beautiful sunflower, a really happy one that actually, and again, I love the fact that you've got all of these different um, sort of texture stamps in there too, to really help you create the most beautiful and unique backgrounds, even if you've never done it before, very, very achievable. And like Craig was saying, you know what? Oh, hello. Um, you can take, take in one of your little um, acrylic blocks or you could potentially, you know, pop them on one of your little um, stamping platforms as well uh, to get the very best stamped image. And then of course, across in the collection too, you do get all of those sentiments, the Simply Sentiments. I think they're very versatile because of course, you've got all those different words uh, on individual stamps as well, by the way. Um, so you can you know, match these up to create lots of different sentiments. If you just want to say hello to somebody, you've got thinking of you in there, you've got congratulations, you've got sympathy, you've got birthdays. Um, there's loads. I'll let you look through all of those. Uh, but I tell you what, absolutely fantastic is that set for £24 or $32. Now, um, just before we 
Did we? Are we having a break? Did you say? Oh, we are. Sorry. I, sorry. I, I, I knew that. Um, two quick questions. First question: What was the flower on Lily's card? The uh, Ekansu. I know why you asked now, Lillian. What was it? The Ekansu. Echinacea. Is that? Yeah. Coneflower. Yeah, that one. Lillian, you wind up merchant, you. Love that. Uh, lovely card, Craig. Thank you. Stunning cards, says Caroline F. Uh, fabulous card, Craig, says Sarah Muir. And what a pretty card, says Candy. Craig, thank you for the inspiration. Now, before we have a quick break, <laughs> oh, Stephanie, Stephanie, you've asked for this. I cannot be held responsible for what may happen here. Now, a little bit late to the party. Uh, for those of you that watched our Christmas Day show, you will know that uh, Craig did his usual Christmas, Christmas tree critique where we were asked to send in pictures and he rated them. Mine got a real tongue lashing from him. Uh, we've taken it down now. Mine not even put up a tree yet here after what he though. said. This is uh, Stephanie's new nine foot tree. Um, and she wants a review from you. She wants an honest opinion from you, Mr. Christmas. What are you going to tell us, Craig? What are you looking for again here when you look for a good tree? And does this qualify? Uh, yeah. Oh. The, the symmetry there. That's, yeah. There is symmetry there. So that is really, really important. I think maybe the multicolored lights are a little bit outdated, but, you know, each, each to their own. Okay. Each to their own, whether it's warm lights or white lights. Um, lovely little uh, fairy on the top there as well. But even when it comes to the kind of like the, the bead garland all the way around, I like how it is uh, kind of uniform. You know, it is uniform and it's nice. And the layout of decorations is lovely as well. Really, really nice. Marks out of 10? Marks out of 10. Uh, I would say 7. Solid 7. If you put clear lights on, I would maybe give it 8. Well, there you go, Stephanie. That wasn't too bad. Do you know what, Stephanie? I just say it's a true story. So Craig is um, obviously a big fan of like, the clear lights or the, 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 the yellow lights. Those are the lights that we had on our Christmas tree this year. And I keep saying every year to Mrs M, can we get some colourful lights? And we like walking through our village, a lot of people gone for the colourful lights in their Christmas well, trees. And I'm, yeah, yeah, I love them. I've been looking. <laughs> they're probably thinking, who the... Who the heck's that guy looking in our window? I mean, like, oh, I wish I could have a Christmas tree like yours with the colourful lights on. But Laura's very much, no, not the colourful lights. It's got to be the, the, white. The, the white lights now. Yeah. So, Stephanie, I'm with you. If I was going to mark your tree out of ten, nine. Nine. Is my nine better than Craig's seven? Probably not, because you don't care. Oh, have mine. you seen your tree? No. It was... I told Laura Hanging about that. Side, it was I told Laura about that. Lights in different I told places. Told Laura about that. You're not invited around the house anymore. I told Laura. Tall. Told Laura. Situated. I told Laura about that. She's not very happy with you. And Daisy. Don't know if she'll ever get over it. Way to make a 12-year-old feel bad about themselves at Christmas. It's not as if I didn't give her a midi. Touché. Right, uh, we're going to have a quick break. When we come back from the break, um, no doubt we'll squeeze in one more quick little uh, demo or technique with the Kingfisher collection. And, of course, we'll get you to vote for your... Uh, <laughs> I'm laughing because you know what you're working about. Uh, he didn't really upset my wife or my 12-year-old daughter in case you're thinking, Craig, he's really mean. It's all, it's all for laughs. Or is it? Um, we're coming back after a short break. Can't deal with it. We're coming back after a short break. I'll see you in a minute. Oh! If you love Crafters TV, we've made it easy for you to watch us wherever you are. Whether you catch us on your tablet or take us with you on your mobile phone, it's easy to watch us anywhere. From here to here. Maybe don't watch us here. It would be easy to watch us here. Probably the easiest place to watch us is here. Crafters TV, with you wherever you are. Hi, I'm Ben from Crafters TV. As you may know, we've just launched an amazing new website, our new home of Papercraft to house all of your crafty needs. And as we've had a bit of a makeover, I'm here today to show you how to check out Crafters TV on our sparkling new website, including how to watch live, catch up with previous shows, 
and how to view the latest schedules. So let's get started. First, go to the Crafters Companion homepage. Select the correct location at the top of the page. Click the Crafters TV icon on the top right hand side of your screen. To watch the show live on the website, click the Watch Now button in the middle of your screen. You'll be taken to the relevant show page where you can watch the show, shop the show and shop the day at your leisure. To view the Crafters TV schedule, click the View Our Schedule button in the middle of your screen. You'll be taken to the TV schedule where you can browse each date plus all of the shows that are on that day. You can then click on each show to be taken to a page where you can watch and shop the show. If you want to catch up on a previous show, hit the catch up button on the purple Crafters TV bar. Then you can scroll down to see all of the previous Crafters TV shows from recent days. If you're looking for something specific, you can click the Craft Expert, Craft Area, Shows and Date Filters just above the list of shows. Take a moment to browse until you see the show you want to catch up on, then click onto the show. You'll then be taken to the catch up page where you're free to watch the show and check out all of the crafty goodies on our Shop the Show and Shop the Day pages. Enjoy. There once was a man who was very crafty. His name was Craig from Carnoustie. He joined the team on Crafters TV. Oh, crafty Scottish man craft. Soon may the crafty man come to bring us demos and inspiration. Each day when his crafting is done, he might do a Facebook Live. He wanted to prove he was the man, but he lost that craft was to Leanne. But two weeks later, he beat Jan. Oh, crafty Scottish man craft. Soon may the crafty man come to bring us demos and inspiration. Each day when his crafting is done, he might do a Facebook Live. He did so well on Crafters TV, Sarah sent him off to Germany, where he did some work for QVC. Oh, crafty Scottish man craft. Soon may the crafty man come to bring us demos and inspiration. Each day when his crafting is done, he might do a Facebook Live. His crafting skills, they aren't half bad. In fact, I'd say they're totally rad. That's mainly down to his favorite foam pads. Oh, crafty Scottish man craft. Soon may the crafty man come to bring us demos and inspiration. Each day when his crafting is done, he might do a Facebook Live. The crafters, they loved him a lot for his charm and skill. They went quite potty. They nicknamed him the hardy Scotty. Oh, crafty Scottish man craft. Soon may the crafty man come to bring us demos and inspiration. Each day when his crafting is done, he might do a Facebook Live. In the crafting world, he's standing tall. He's the best Scottish crafter of them all. Catch him Monday to Friday on his wake-up call. Oh, crafty Scottish man craft. Soon may the crafty man come to bring us demos and inspiration. Each day when his crafting is done, he might do a Facebook Live. <laughs> Welcome back. Sorry, I was just I was in the break there. We were just we were singing along to the song. I was just adding some bits to it. I'm thinking of doing like a, a 2024 remix updated version um, of that song. <sighs> so you can hear what I was doing. And no, before you ask, I'm not doing it. Um, the best song. Thank you, Hayley. That's very kind of you. And Jane Adams says, once again, my favourite song. More new songs to come in 2024. I've uh, got a few ideas from some um, little uh, parody songs, which no doubt will either appear here or on my Facebook page. Um, Stephanie says, thank you, Craig and Ben. Uh, those ornaments go back to 1974. So you were kind of right with what you were saying about them being sort of older lights. But, um, yeah. Older I lights will complement it. Hmm. Um, Lots of love for Stephanie's tree coming through and apparently uh, lots of debate now, uh, you started this, over on the socials about the um, white or coloured lights. What are we going for? What, what's the overriding, uh, what's the overriding, the overriding result there then? White or coloured lights, what are we going for? Who likes what? I like, I like the bright, um, the coloured lights, personally. He's white. Uh, producer Nicola, coloured. James? He's going white. Yes. So um, split, isn't it? Well, that's I get the majority vote. 
No, Ross Nug Nugs. She'll have the casting Nug Nugs. <laughs> Do you prefer coloured lights or white lights? On a Christmas tree. Don't say anything. Um, I don't know if she's genuinely just ignoring it. I think she probably is. I don't think I see like send you nickname you've given her. That's Tracy, by the way. Don't ask. Um, we're going to have a look at the Kingfish collection before we go. Um, should we get the vote going on the demo of should the we? show? Because you're going to make a card which you've already finished, right? Should we? Yeah. And then we'll do am the I, vote for the demo. Am I putting it, although this isn't going to be a full demo, will I put in the finished example for you to choose from? Mm. Yes, please. So those, those two, and then this is I'll what show we're going to be doing. Elements. What elements of? From mm. that one. So one for the scattered borders. Yes, so that one that i done, I just put onto a 5x5 five five car blank. Mm -hmm. We've done it at the start of the show. So number one, mm -hmm. with the scattered borders and duet. Number two, with our floral collage stamps. And then number three, with the kingfish R. Uh, one, two or three. I reckon you've got about five minutes to get your vote in and then um, Craig's winner from this show will go up against Lily's card from Wake Up Call, uh, which we will do the vote on very shortly. Yes, the Kingfisher collection. Um, we've got three separate bundles, OK? So what we've done here is we've broken it down into your um, paper bundle, which we'll potentially have a look at for the end of the show, your embellishments bundle, but the one which um, everybody has absolutely loved today is the Essentials Bundle, which is all of your hardware. Um, details on the screen now for all of this. £60 or $76.80 on this. Look at this amazing uh, 3D embossing folder, the Halcyon Days. I'll go through these fairly swiftly because I know we are running out of time. I think one of the most beautiful uh, embossing folders that we have done um, in recent times. I was going to say this year, but of course it was last year. All of these items as well you can pick up if you want to individually. That's a beautiful embossing folder. The By the River, uh, great sort of scene setter, that one for uh, um, any project, not just within um, this particular collection. You've then got your Blue Lightning, so that is the Kingfisher in stamp and die form. Um, we've got a couple of um, Kingfisher stamps and dies within this set. Then you've got your Nature's Silhouette. Again, great if you uh, like to create those sort of uh, watercolour backgrounds and then create like a, um, a silhouette effect over the top. We've got sentiments in here. These are your everyday sentiments, things like celebrate your day, good luck to someone special. There's your second Kingfisher. This one is uh, in flight called the Flying Gem, if you want to go for that individually. We've also got stencils in here as well. So um, layering stencils to build up that beautiful effect on your uh, beautiful blossoms. Then you're going to get your River Reeds. Again, stamps and dies there if you'd like to create, um, you know, 3D effects you've got the ability to be able to do that. The entwined wreath, which you'll be seeing with Craig in this demo, I think one of the most uh, versatile and um, brilliant dies to use across a whole host of different collections. So you can do so much with that one. Uh, you've also got your blossoming floral border, uh, which Lily was using a little bit earlier on today. And then the pièce de résistance is the in flight, which is that gorgeous creator card die. Um, I just think the level of detail is absolutely stunning there. Um, you've got your outer die there as well. If you want to cut that out as a panel, you can. £60 or $76 HE. As I mentioned, if you go to the Shop the Show, Shop the Day page, you'll see all of the bundles there, including the cardstock, the paper, and the embellishments. I reckon, mister, you've got about, oh, I don't know, six, seven minutes to, um, to demo us. So what can we do? Uh, yeah, let's do it then. Let's get a little bit of watercolour card. I'm going to take, with the pens in one of those sets, uh, yes. Yes. So let's the embellishment. Uh, yes, the embellishment set. Let's take the pen. So let's use the magenta. Then we're going to use the kingfisher. We're just going to scribble onto our glass mat. And then we're going to take our... Let's go in with the sunflower. OK. And scribble onto there. Then we're going to take, let's take our water spritzer. So let's bring in my water spritzer here. I've got a little bit left. And I'm just going to spritz onto the colour. So I'm going to give that a good spritz. And a little bit of watercolour card. I have cut this to 4x4, four four, although my layer that I've got already dried is a little bit bigger. So we're just going to press that in. And then we're going to lift, smooshing into our card. Smooshy wooshy. Just going to spritz just a little bit more. Smoosh, give it a good smoosh. It's like what Mr Bean says in um, one of his films. What does he say? When he goes, um, smoosh, 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 smoosh. <laughs> does he? Yeah. I, I think it was the one where he goes to Paris. 
Is that Mr. Bean's holiday? That's not the uh, the best ones. Yeah, when he um, when he uh, he he, he uh, destroys Whistler's. Is it the Whistler's mother? Whistler's thing, mother. It? Yeah, that is the best one. And he has to repaint it with the big nose. <laughs> that is so funny. Brilliant. That movie. Just love Mr. Bean. 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 Hello. Hello. <laughs> Teddy. <laughs> I'm Mr. Bean. I'm Mr. Bean. Was Mr. Bean big in the US? Like, did you yeah. did, did did you have the series over there, the Mr. Bean series? I know they only they didn't make a lot of them. Did yeah, they? there was only like ten or something like that. But yeah. it, that it's, that spanned over about I don't know, it was over like was it fifteen years or something oh, like that. I don't know. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. A long, long time, but there was only a few, few episodes. The cartoon series is good as well. Have you ever seen yeah. that? Yeah. I quite like that. But no, I, 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 my, I think my favourite's Merry Christmas, Mr Bean. I love oh, when he gets the turkey, turkey on his head. head and he's at, uh, at um, Harrods and he pulls the plug out and the whole lights oh, go yeah. off. That's brilliant. And then when he's at the choir, he's just done the choir. <laughs> and um, he does that bit. And then it goes back, everyone goes back to normal, the choir is singing, and then you just see the great big tree in the background. <laughs> and then he cuts a hole in the tree, and he only uses a tiny, tiny little bit of the tree. I love that. And also what Nicola just said, the um, when when he goes swimming. He goes swimming, then he goes to the cinema. Oh, the top, and he yeah. the, <laughs> he's like he's crawling along the board, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and he goes to go to see a horror. That's brilliant. Oh, yeah. 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 Which funny enough, which reminds me, Ben. Yes. Have you seen what is now available to buy on iTunes? Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. And do you know what I bought off of iTunes? Thanksgiving. Yeah. I've you and I... Oh, go on. No, I was just I've got... I'm desperate to watch it again, but I've got so much TV to catch up on. Yeah. There's a lot of good stuff on at the minute. Have you been watching that post office? No, I haven't. Mr... Is it Mr Banks? Versus the post versus office. The post Mr Bates versus the post Mr. office. Mr Bates, yeah. yeah. I only watched a little bit because Mum was on a bit... Well, I started to watch a little bit. And I'm on episode two already. Oh, my God, it's incredible. I watched two films over the weekend, two very similar films, actually. I watched um, The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry. Oh, I want to watch that. With Jim Broadbent. Yeah, Jim Broadbent. Brilliant. Yeah, is it good? Yeah. And then um, on that same sort of vein, which was the true story, was the, uh, Michael Caine's last film, The Great Escaper. Oh, no. Yeah, that's, uh, that's on... I, you have to rent it off Sky Sports. It's like 4 99 but mm -hmm. it was worth it. And it's the true story of the um, World War II veteran. He wanted to go over to the 70th... Uh, anniversary of the D-Day celebrations and the, his nursing home wouldn't let him out so he broke out of the nursing home and went there himself. Wow. So good. And it was, it's, it's his last film, uh, Michael King, because he's like 90 now. Yeah, I and didn't realise that. Um, oh, Glenda Jackson's in it as well. Two, right, if you want like a nice sort of Sunday afternoon, sort of heartwarming, little bit of a tearjerker film, that one and the um, Harold Fry movie, I can highly recommend. Oh! Um, <laughs> yeah, and then follow it up with Thanksgiving. Um, d demo the shows in, if we, should we quickly do that. Let's do it. Save your lining them up, I'll go on. That one. And then that one. One. Number what? That one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Number one. Ah. So then demo of the day. Oh, no, we haven't done it yet. Why are we doing that? Uh, so <laughs> one is now Lily's card from Wake Up Call. Two, the one you just waited for, Craig. So one Lily, two Craig, you've got mm, three minutes. I think it could be close. I think it'd be close. I think it's going to be close as well. I think Lily's going to peep me to the post there. It's over to you. Boat now. Uh, what else do I want to watch? Oh, that new one with Michelle Keegan on Netflix. Oh, um, Laura's watched that. Apparently what's it called? For, what's it called? Um, Fool Me. Fool Me Once. Once. She said it's brilliant. Yeah, everyone that I've spoke to have said it's mm. brilliant. She started watching it without me, and she's like, oh, you can catch up. But it's like, well, you're three episodes deep now, so I'm not going to do that, am I? Um, There's another one as well. What's that? 7.53. Is it called Saltair? What? Sol Saltair? Saltar? I think Film? It's, I, think, I think it's... Saltburn. Is it Saltburn? I think it's meant to be quite raunchy. Oh, uh, yeah. I think I'm... Yeah. Um, it's got Rosamund Pike in it, I think, hasn't it? I don't know, I've just heard it's really good. Dean, our Dean's seen that, he's a bit of a film buff and he reckons it's, um, he reckons it's decent. Our Hayley says as well, Fool Me Once was brilliant, Defo must watch. 
bit of a thriller, wasn't it? With a, Laura said it had like a really big twist at the end as well. Yeah. Mm. So, so I believe. So, yeah. I've still got Neighbours to catch up with. Oh, missed all that yeah. last week. All the wrestling. I've got the well, Monday Night Raw tonight. Oh, yeah. Um, I've got last two episodes of Corey. Oh. So I've got that to catch up with. Um, on that note, Kingfisher. With the Kingfisher, you've got the stamp and the die. So just stamp that without, within our waterproof ink pad. Die cut it. And I use the tricolour aquas that you get within the set. You get that. You all right over there? Yeah, fine. Just drop making them. making a noise. Do you need anything? Can I help you with anything? No, I'm fine, thanks. You all right? <laughs> yeah. And I'm just going to form that together. That we can sit into the middle there. And then using some of the pattern paper, as well as the birthday wishes, you're just going to start to build it. And then that's how you're going to start to create that look and feel of the card. Beautiful. We always knew it was going to be like um, a fairly swift one because we're almost oh, yeah. out of time. But um, yeah, fantastic. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Um, if you want the collection, I've shown you the, essenti uh, the essentials. Yes, the essentials. Um, shall I just quickly show you the car, the paper as well? And then we'll get the result and then we'll be just about done. The um, 12 by 12 paper pad, uh, very popular, of course, as we launched. I know a lot of people bought the, um, the Showstopper collection and then ordered more of the paper pad. I like this. There's a few of these that we're doing these in now where we give you that extra sheet in the back with all of your sentiments in. So you can take your, um, your snips into these, cut these out. Really lovely sentiments, which, of course, will match up with the papers in the pad. Things like be kind to yourself make a wish i love you more thinking of you there's loads and then of course you've got all of these beautiful papers the um b side to the a side of course uh, matching up absolutely perfectly but just some of the most beautiful artwork i think that we've done layer upon layer of interest of course with the kingfishes but you've got beautiful florals in there you've got butterflies running through here too it's just a sumptuous um paper pad so i mean look at that one there i mean you've got all the kingfishes but Where's that one with the kingfishers popping back up out of the water? Absolutely glorious, that. Amazing. Almost want to um, just put a picture frame around that and stick it on the wall. But you've got some glorious, glorious pictures in there, glorious papers. 37 sheets, you also get that included um, in your 6x6 six six as well. So that matches and marries up um, really nicely for you as well. Then you're going to get your linen card stock. So this, again, is all perfectly matched up with your um, paper pad. So you're not going to have to go elsewhere and think, what am I going to get uh, my card stock for? Because we've done it all for you in this collection. And then you're going to get your, um, your vellum sheets in there too. Again, all matching 24 sheets uh, within that uh, collection of vellum. All in all, just £34.40 is your platinum price of $47.20 um, if you're shopping for that. And we have got an embellishments collection available for you too. Love the last card, Craig, says Robbie Hedrick. And we do have a vote in. The result is there for the demo of the day. One. Yeah, I thought it would be Lily. Mm. Lilies, look at that. Absolutely stunning. Two great cards, um, but a worthy winner. Well done, Lily. We'll pop that up onto the Crafty Walk of Fame, and it could be the one that you vote for on Sunday, Second Chance Sunday, when we will do the vote for the week. But what a day! What a day! Massive thank you to all of the team. Uh, thank you to uh, Lily, of course, who was in earlier. We loved having um, Annika, the opera singer, on this morning, too. If you miss Wake Up Call, um, do me a favour and go and watch it, because you'll absolutely love it. She was an unbelievable singer, uh, great personality, and um, turned out to be a great crafter as well. Uh, thank you to uh, Hayley on the socials. Thank you also to um, Rachel, thank you to Nicola, thank you to James, thank you to uh, Tracy. Nugs, nugs. And a massive thank you to uh, Craig or Bagel. Um, <laughs> you're going to get yourself in trouble. Uh, me and you again tomorrow, isn't it? Hey, yeah, all changed. So you've now got me tomorrow. Actually, me and Lily have done the reverse. I'm going to be on the first two shows. Lily's going to be on at the end, but we're going to have you all day. We've got a brand new launch. It's all about alphabet dies. Mm -hmm. ABC. Easy, Easy as. as one, two, three. Uh, thank you, everybody, so much. Don't forget to check out the website. All the deals um, from all of the shows today are there for you. And, of course, we've still got <laughs> that 30% off on storage on the website for you as well. So thanks for watching, everybody. Until we two see you tomorrow on Wake Up Call, have a great Leave rest of your Monday. <laughs>